Wow, that's great. I mean, look, you are you are right on that point. I I, I mean, I'm happy you have stated that, but it is a matter or an issue of technical competence and then interpersonal intelligence, right? One thing that you should always know is this. There are three levels of intelligence. There is the abstract intelligence, concrete intelligence, and social intelligence. Abstract intelligence is one's ability to understand and manipulate words and figures. So back in our universities, we had guys who were so good at math, right? Any question that the teacher puts up, they, they, they are able to answer. Now, such individuals end up being like professors, lecturers, etc. Then there is the concrete intelligence. Concrete intelligence is one's ability to understand and manipulate objects. So there are individuals who are not so educated, but they are so good at producing. They work with their hands, they, they, they produce things, they manufacture, right? And the third level of intelligence, which is the most powerful, is known as emotional intelligence, or you would want to say interpersonal intelligence. It is one's ability to understand himself, understand other people, and be able to work along with them. So research has proven that interpersonal intelligence, or say emotional intelligence, is the leading determinant of success. Because of course, if you do not have a very higher level of abstract intelligence, or concrete intelligence, but you are say 85% on, on, on social intelligence, you can easily manipulate or you can easily motivate the team that you work with and then get them to produce results. So it is not so much about the, the concrete intelligence or abstract intelligence, but rather I would advise that as you move up in organizations, as you move up in your company, you try and improve upon your interpersonal intelligence and that will go a long way in ensuring that you become successful and it's quite easier you can do it i encourage you to do so